First, they gave us a free Azure SQL DB. Well, now our Azure SQL Services team has upped the ante. We're going to review the free offering of Azure SQL MI on today's Tales from the Field. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. If this is your first time finding us on Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. Hey, if you're new to the channel, it's 2024, y'all. Let's start off the year right. And for all those loyal subscribers that follow us over from 2023, it's 2024, y'all. Let us know what content you would like to see here on the channel. Speaking of content, we have content on Tuesdays we call the round table where we share links, blogs, videos, posts from you, the Azure community for the Azure community. We also like to post this thing occasionally on Mondays and on Wednesdays, which we call MS Tech Bits. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. At the end of 2023, our Azure SQL Server team gave us a huge announcement. For SQL Managed Instances, we now have a free version. Let's go ahead and click Create there. You can see here on the screen, we can apply free offer, which is now in preview for our Azure SQL Managed Instance. Let's look at the documentation real quick. For 12 months, we get a general purpose that can support up to 100 databases, 720 hours a month, and 64 gigs of storage. If we scroll down a little bit here, we can read a little bit more about our monthly free limits. I recommend you go into our documentation that will be provided in the description of the video and read about that. Also, we have some other limitations here that we call out. I like to call out a couple here that I see on the screen. We get one per subscription. We can have four and eight cores. And right now we can't upgrade to a paid version. So let's go ahead and apply the free offer. We're going to choose East US. We're going to call it Date Free MI. I'm going to put it in a Date Free MI resource group. And we're going to now go ahead and scroll down a little bit here. And I am going to configure the managed instance. I wanted to get a look and feel or show you the look and feel of what a free managed instance deployment is going to look like. You can see here our service tier is grayed out, our zone redundancy is grayed out, our hardware generation is grayed out, but we have the choice of vCores. Here we could choose four, or we could slide over, or we could choose eight vCores. Let me do something real quick. I'm going to slide back to four. I'm going to try and type in six. You can see here it's not going to accept that. We could choose four or eight vCores. Also, I want to point out, no license is required for this. This is completely free. You can also see here that we have 64 gig of storage and we cannot modify our backup. We get up to seven days of backups that we can do a point in time restore to. I'm going to choose both SQL Microsoft Entra Authentication. I'm going to set my Entra admin and I'm going to put in my username and password there. Then here for networking, I'm going to let it deploy this into a new VNet. And I'm going to choose for my public endpoint, I'm going to allow Azure services in this case. This might be different for within your environment. So select the public endpoint that you're allowed to use if you're allowed to use any at all. Here on the security screen, I'm not going to make any changes, but I wanted to show that you had the same options as with the paid managed instance. Let's go to additional settings. Here, we're going to choose our collation and our time zone. And remember, set these up front because once you deploy, you can't change these. Next, we're going to go to tags. We're going to put in some meaningful tags here for your environment. We're going to go to review and create. Here on the review and create screen, you could scroll down and you can look at the different options you set, just like the paid version. But this is the free version. How do we know this is the free version? Look, 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 look at this. Estimated cost per month free completely free 720 v core hours 64 gigs of storage wonderful wonderful thing for 12 months all right let's go ahead and create it's going to take us to our deployment there you're going to see the deployment screen here deployment is in progress with the resource deployment complete we can now go to our data free mi sql managed instance i want to look at the start and stop schedule because the managed instance team did something really cool. 
they set up a schedule for us Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. This means essentially that our four vCore SQL managed instance will consume 640 vCore hours in four weeks. You can change that schedule, by the way. However, that could change how long your SQL managed instance is available for you. All right, so our free managed instance is nothing without data. So I have a Stack Overflow 2013 database that's 52 gig in size, which fits perfectly within to my 64 gig limit. I'm gonna walk through really quickly in Azure SQL migration here. I'm gonna do the cutover. Once we have the cutover in place, we can now go over to Azure Data Studio on a jump box. And you can see I've recovered my Stack Overflow 2013 database to my free managed instance. We could come in here and do a select top 1000 from our comments table. You could do more advanced queries. You could start doing your inserts and updates. All right, and there we have it. Our free Azure SQL managed instance. Our team, our Azure SQL Server team just keeps coming up with the hits one after another. First, it was a free Azure SQL DB and now this. This gives us a huge opportunity to one, Test out our SQL MI link from our Azure SQL Server 2022 instances. Gives us the ability to look at the differences between Azure SQL DB and Azure SQL MI. Since we have free versions of both, we can kick the tires and test those out. It also just gives us the ability to look at Azure SQL MI and see what it brings to the table. It also allows you to put together a migration pattern a way to do your migrations and test those. You know where we like to keep this going in the comments down below. Let us know what you think of this new free managed instance service that the team provided for us. Let us know what you would like at it. And as always, be good to each other. Today's gonna be a good day.